Hi everyone and welcome back to some more historic mode here on MotoGP 20. This is part number six. Now in today's episode we're going to take on a challenge in Japan around Mategi. Now this is a circuit I do struggle around and uh, yeah it's going to be very interesting so we're going to jump straight into it. So it's uh, riding as Michael Dewan on the uh, HRC Honda. So let's see if we can complete this one. I think this is going to be a tough challenge. Let's get straight into it. Right, so here we go with the race in Japan around the Mategi circuit on the 500cc class two strokes. This is going to be tough. Also, we've gone with the soft, soft tyres. Not sure whether that's going to be the right option to go for. It's a six lap race. Let's just see if we can get a decent start. And we're stuck in power two. And off we go. Hopefully we can get to that first corner. Hopefully not get taken out. Hold it, hold it. And that rear is very dodgy on this bike. Oh, that was okay. I will take that. And we're up to P3, so that's a good steady start. And let's slow it down. Turn it in. No, we're not going to be quickest into that corner. There's two more riders that managed to get past. Just try and hold it. He's oh, <laughs> having a bit of a look at me as I went into him then. I do apologise. Right, let's hold it in the middle. Good on the brakes and just trying to hold it into that turn. We've been forced out a little bit wider there, but that is okay. So we're definitely not the quickest in the corners, but um, I'm trying my best. And let's see if we can get past Lawson there and into that corner. Ooh, be careful. Oh, flipping it. Don't come off it. And hold it again. We just need to try and stick with these guys as long as we can. And I don't think it's because they're on a really good pace on 90% AI level. I just think that I'm not very good for Amatechi and I've never ridden this bike round here. So I'm out doing setups. It's always trial and error. But we've managed to hold on to third so far. But these two in front are definitely on another level. So let's just try and stick with them. Hopefully get a bit of a toe. But this is the corner I'm worrying about. Ooh, flipping out, just got a bit of a shunt there. Thank you for that. I almost went straight off the circuit. I do struggle a lot on the braking zones as well, I've noticed. And that wasn't too bad, that final bend. We managed to get through there okay. Try and get a bit of a slipstream here into the next lap. And it's Gardner that's leading the way. And again, a flipping egg. Completely mucked up that corner better on the braking zones they have got boards here to look at and some circuits don't have it and I did notice early on in the game there was some circuits that didn't have them but now do I don't know whether any of you guys noticed that but you do need your braking boards and on these bikes I'm probably going to tend to start braking at the hundred one and that's not too bad it's a little better we're on lap two Tyres look okay so far. Oh, I just felt it going then. How the hell did I stay on? I knew I was going to be pushing it there. Definitely going to have to look at a replay. I think I did slightly go on the grass there. And down the outside. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God, just felt losing grip. The old controller was vibrating quite a bit. And slow down. Again, oh, I think they've two just had a bit of a contact there. And Gardner is still holding on to the lead. Let's see if we can just... <laughs> we've tried our best just to stay in this position. All right, good on the brakes. Turn it in. And that was a lot smoother. So, we're getting used to it slowly. Oh, we've gained on these two through here. Through that horrible chicane. And we should be able to get a bit of a toe here if we can just get behind. And let's, oh, that was a good one. So we go into the next lap. Oh, are we going to go side by side? I don't want to make contacts. And hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh, that wasn't too bad. I will take that. And we're into P2. Wow. Right. 
So we have slightly improved, and if we get quicker and quicker each lap, that is only going to benefit us, and we might be able to complete this challenge. Watch it. All oh, flipping out. No, that is not what I wanted. Right. So we're back down to P3. Unless we do good one on the brakes. Oh, flipping out. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh, no, that wasn't good enough. We need to do better through there. Right, right into the curb through here. Oh, I've just been here again. Eddie Lawson. Oh, for flip's sake. What the hell was that? I'm pretty sure that was not my fault. But again, if we go to the replay cameras at the end of the race, as we just slip past back into P2. Flipping game. What is it with these minimal contacts? But he might, he did, he did feel like a bit of a shunt. So I think he might have hit me quite hard. Luckily, I didn't come off. But we will check that and hold it. It's not too bad. And we are coming towards the end of lap three. And we've still got three laps to go. I'm trying my best not to make too many mistakes and we just oh right into the curb just left the brake in a little bit later there but still not carrying the sort of speed we should take through that corner through those last chicane is a difficult one and stick it in power two and see if we can just get closer to Gardner here and oh he breaks quite a lot earlier into that corner but maybe that's what we need to do to get around this one a little bit tighter and actually that wasn't too bad so that worked out nicely so let's see if we can he's definitely quick on the straights i don't know why that it that is we're on the same bike so surely we should be about the same but the, it does feel very restricted i must admit i don't know whether that's that, that that's how it is on these bikes but i feel like he can't fully accelerate and it seems like You've got assisted brakes when you're not even braking. I don't know whether you've had that problem, guys. I, I notice it more on these type of bikes. Easy does it. Because we are on the pro settings. And we haven't got many of the assists on, so I don't know why it feels like that. Let's keep it steady through here. Careful as you do. Oh, God. Be careful. And we're really starting to put him under pressure on this full flap and he's taking a nice inside line there that was pretty decent and I think we might be able to get him let's go down the outside he's probably going to come down the inside no we've managed to just hold that but will he come back no he's always going to go for it but he didn't and we've managed to hold on to that and we're into P1 but are we going to be able to hold it into this corner I think he's going to take a much better line from here so let's just start breaking a little bit earlier and no, he's going on the outside. Wow. Oh, God. Oh, God, we had a coming together there. But yeah, he went on the outside. I thought he was going to go on the inside. But uh, we've managed to hold on to it there. And that is, is that going to be the end of it? So he's dropped off slightly. We've still got another couple of laps to go. Let's see if we can just hold on to this. And we'll slightly overshot that corner. So far, this has been a really good race, and Lawson's just put in the fastest lap. So, we have got a couple of guys behind us, uh, just slightly quicker. Let's keep it steady, steady, steady. God, these tyres are starting to feel a little bit less grippy now. We've got a little bit of, oh, just a second, a second between us and Gardner. Not too bad into there. This is where I think they're going to catch me through here. It's nicely done through there. Trying to push it as much as I can. Oh, don't, doesn't like the change of direction. Oh, that does not feel very comfortable. Okay. Slightly dab the brakes. Still managed to maintain a little bit of breathing space as we come towards the end of lap five. So far, so good. We might actually complete this challenge. That's still about a second. That's nothing. Absolutely nothing around here. And 
So down. It's that turn. And he's, he's not that far behind. He's just gained a little bit through there. Oh, flipping out. That didn't feel good. And come towards the end of lap five. So we've got one more lap to go. Is there going to be an attack by these two behind? We're going to have to see. Again, just trying to be careful. Well, that was the first bend. And we managed to do that. And these soft tyres have actually lasted. I'm really surprised. You can never judge. And this is one circuit you do not want to do in the wet. I'm pretty sure of that. And it's still about a second. I think as soon as we've got past, they've sort of dropped off a little bit. Although I think um, out of this year's game, I think the AI do battle with you a, le a lot better. It's just the, the contact. Um, I think they just need to just firm that up a bit. That minimal contact shouldn't make a rider come off in certain circumstances anyway. They run straight into you there, obviously, yeah. But when you have those little taps here and there, you should be able to get away with that. And into this bend. Get tyres are really starting to go now. That didn't feel great. Still only a second. We've managed to maintain that distance. As long as we don't muck up this bit. We might slow it down. We can break up a bit more. Make sure we get around this corner. And that was nicely done. Final couple of corners. And we should be home and dry. And there we go. We're going to complete the challenge. And that was a, that was a tough one. Um, I don't think I'm ready to go on a higher level. I think I could probably manage probably just over 100, maybe 100, 105. No way could I manage 120% AI around there. Just not quick enough yet. Got a lot of improvement to go, but let's have a look at some of the incidents I had in we had in that race. So let's get straight into it. So here we go. Right, this was a lucky call for me. How the hell I stayed on. But I did actually... Oh, I did touch the grass. That was very, very close. Right, so we have a look at the incident that happened with Lawson as we came round this bend. I went straight onto the kerb and he's tried to slip past, make contact and come off. I'm not quite sure whose fault that was, but let's have another look at a different camera view. Right, so now we're going to have a look at another camera view. So this is from behind and from this camera view, it actually looks that he runs just straight into me and there wasn't room to overtake, but who knows, because I was turning into that corner. Right, so that is the challenge completed. So we should earn 9,000 credits onto some of the credits we've already got. Now, I have been buying the cards. Um, I've got quite a few now. And we want to buy all of them. And we will be using some of these cards and the teams and the riders in special events. And that will be another series that will come very, very soon. But uh, So we've got two common and one uncommon. I have got a couple of rare cards as well. And we will be taking on some harder challenges in this series as well. That's running along our other career series. But also don't forget to check that series out as well. Also, I'm going to leave you a full replay of that race. Please enjoy it. And I will see you very, very soon.